This is Wendy with loveandstampin.com. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. We are going to make a fun card. We're gonna make a bay window card. So I'm just pulling my computer up because I tried to print at the list for the big sale coming tomorrow from Stampin' Up. And for some reason, my printer wouldn't print it, of course. You know how that kind of thing is. So <clears throat> I'm going to pull it up here and give it a look-see and see if there's anything amazing we need to talk about. So tomorrow, uh, the, today is October 19th, 2021, when you're watching this video, um, in case you're watching it in the replay. And tomorrow, October 20th, 2021, Stampin' Up! is doing a 24-hour sale 15% off select stamp sets. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of them that are going to be on sale. Really exciting. I wish I could print it and have it in front of me, but I'll try to pull a few of the stamp sets here in a minute um, so you can see them that are going to be on sale. Ooh, brew some fun, mini messages, seascape, Many happenings, sunny sentiments, after the storm, lots of stuff. Okay, so today we are going to make a, this card, well, something similar. <clears throat> and we're using our creative inspiration calendar. So for those who are new um, or might be watching this in the replay that have never uh, visited my site or my YouTube channel, my creative inspiration calendar comes out every single month at the end of the month and I publish it and email it out. So you can only get it if you're an email subscriber. So there's a link below this video that says get my emails. You can click that link, sign up for my emails, and then you just do need to take the next step to confirm the email. So an email will be sent to your email saying, um, do you confirm this subscription? You confirm it, and then you will have access to my creative inspiration calendars. And there are several past ones, so you can print all of the ones that you get access to. So today, we are making a garden window or a bay window card. They are called both things. And so um, we're going to make one of those. And I also want to mention that we have this choose a gift promotion going on right now. When you place an order of $50 or more using this host code, you get to choose one of these gifts for free from me. And we've already mailed a bunch of these out. So um, we have plenty in stock. All of these are available still. So if you want to get one of these, then please feel free to place an order of 50 or more on in my online store and that's it shoploveandstampin.com. There is a link below the video for that. So as I work through the video here or the card, if you have any questions, comments, things like that, please make sure to drop them in the comment section here and chat in. I don't answer and address stuff during the live because I just want anybody watching the replay to be able to watch the project. But at the end of the live, um, I can address comments and questions and stuff like that. I will be um, doing that. So if you have a question or comment or anything like that that you want to share with me, please still type it in. And at the end of the video here, at the end of our live, we will have some time to um, answer those questions. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Um... We're using the Whimsical Tree Bundle. So this stamp set and these dies. And I actually had to borrow these dies from my friend that lives down the street. She's a fellow demonstrator. She's actually on my team, um, Katina. And I had to borrow them from her because um, I, I apparently did not order the bundle. I don't know where mine are. If I did order them, they're missing. Uh, I cannot find them anywhere. So. I thought I ordered them, but like I said, I can't find them. So I borrowed these from her, and but this is the bundle. And then we're using that Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. So this is the card we're going to make, or something similar, which is such a fun, fun fold. 
as you can see the front of it pops up like this and so the person who receives it can display it like this and it's really fun and then when you open it you have your message inside lots and lots of different ways that you can uh, create these cards different sizes different shapes um, I actually just realized I didn't print my measurements out so I'm gonna have to bring it up on my computer really quick so that I remember it. I made a project sheet for you guys with um, the measurements for this so you can go over to my blog about an hour after the end of the, the live here and you'll be able to download and print the project sheet so um let's get started let me get let me pull up that project sheet really quick i'm pretty sure i remember the measurements but i really don't want to do them wrong and have to redo it so let me just pull that up on my computer so funny i'm actually accessing the project sheet in order to be able to do my project for you. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're starting out with a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inch cardstock. I'm using polished pink on this one. The other one is in mint macaron. You are going to, actually we don't need that. You are going to score your cardstock at three eighths of an inch to start. So if you struggle with measurements, this is the quarter inch mark. Go over to this next, let me get a pointer. So this is a quarter of an inch from the cutter, quarter of an inch, and right here would be a three eighths of an inch mark, okay? Each one of these little tick marks is a 16th of an inch. The ones that are a little bit longer in between are an eighth, so we're gonna go over to three eighths right here and line it up. We don't wanna cut it. Get my cutting blade out of the way. Sorry about that. Let's do this again. So three eighths of an inch is right there. And then we're gonna score it at one and seven eighths. And then three and five eighths. Five and one eighth. And finally, five and a half. And again, don't worry about writing all these measurements down because I will provide them <clears throat> in that project sheet. Okay, now I just like to fold on all of my scored lines and burnish the edges, but I'm gonna show you the way to score it, or I mean the way to burnish it, because it's a little different than you might think. So you're gonna fold it over in half first, right? Then you're gonna fold it back on this score line. This is gonna go backwards like this. And then forwards. And then these guys in the center here are gonna be forward. And then this guy is gonna be back, okay? So now we have our card all scored. And all we have to do now is add the layers. This is gray granite cardstock, and you've got two pieces. I gotta look at my measurements so I can tell you. You've got two pieces that are cut at one and a quarter of an inch by four inches. So we're gonna layer these first, and these are gonna go on the outside edge. I love Tombow glue because I can put a piece down and maneuver it around just a little bit before it glues in place. And for me, that's necessary. You might be a better crafter than I, in which case you don't need that wiggle room, but I sure do. Okay, 
And then we've got our centerpiece, which is cut at one and a half by four inches. So let's have a little chit chat story time. If you're new to my channel, you probably have not experienced this before, but I really like to share about my life and things that are going on in my life while I craft and create and I jump back and forth between the project and stories and things like that. So we watched our very first scary movie ever with my daughter um, this last weekend. We watched Scream. Do you guys remember that movie? Okay. Well, when I was but a boy, no, I was, well, let's be clear, I was never a boy. Um, I was just being silly. Uh, I, when I was young is what I was saying facetiously, um, I watched Scream for the first time and it terrified me. Like I can remember it keeping me up at night after watching it. It absolutely horrified me. Really quick, this designer series paper is the Whimsy and Wonder paper. I'm going to tell you the measurements. These ones are cut at one inch by three and three quarters of an inch. And this one is one and a quarter by three and three quarters. Okay. So I can remember watching Scream. I think I was like 15-ish when it came out, something like that. 25 years ago. Anyway, I watched it and I put it on for my daughter the other night and I was like, okay, it's going to be scary. Like, don't, you know, and she's 13, by the way, you know, I, you know, it's going to be scary. I really like, please, if you start getting really freaked out or scared, please tell me we'll shut it off. Like we're not horror flick movie people in this house. So, well, my husband probably is, but I, like, I just don't even, I hate it. It scares, I don't like being scared. So I'm too jumpy. I'm too jumpy and I have a wild imagination. So that's not a good combination because then it's like every little bump or anything I hear in the house, I'm like, oh gosh, something's here to get me. So um, anyway, we put it on and I jumped probably two or three times throughout it. However... I will say, oh my gosh, so funny when you watch something when you're a kid and then you watch it again as an adult. It was so corny. I was like, oh, I was, I was afraid of this. Like, I mean, it made me jump a couple of times, but like, I mean, I was scared when I was a kid. It scared me. And, um, <sighs> As we were watching it, I was kind of embarrassed that I built it up to be this big, terrifying thing. And then it was like, really not that scary. Um, and in fact, my daughter made fun of me, of course, as a teenager will do. Mom, I can't believe you thought this was scary. You know how they are. Um, and so, so I was like, well... I guess in my head as a teen, it was really frightening and apparently it is not as scary as I thought it was. So I just cut a piece of white cardstock to four by five and a quarter to layer onto the inside of this card. Also, um, she immediately wanted to watch the second one. She was like, let's watch Scream 2 because there's three of them. And apparently the crew from these movies is getting back together and there is going to be another Scream release in January or February of next year. So, um, you know, they're all going to be older now. And so it should be interesting and funny. Um, so I'm ex kind of excited to see the, the new one. May the love of the season warm your home and fill your heart is the one I think I'm going to go with. Actually, you know what? Changing my mind. I'm going to go with this one. It's the let your heart be light sentiment. And we're using that polished pink. 
beautiful. And then I'm gonna stamp a tree and die cut it out because we need it for the inside and then we'll decorate the outside. Okay, and this is where like your own creative inspiration can just take off. You can just do whatever you want. I'm doing a pink tree. Yes, I am. Um, and I think it's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? So when you're decorating a card or like when you see something that inspires you, like, you know, I, I saw bay window cards all over Pinterest, all over the internet. Um, and so I thought, oh, I'm going to try to make one of these. And mine looks nothing like anybody else's. Um, I wish, you know what I wish? I wish I could give credit to the creators of these fun folds that we all do. Um, but there's no way to know who created originally because I see them everywhere. All right, so we're going to die cut. Oh, oh, I forgot my die cut machine I need to put back together. Um, okay, we're going to use the mini boss here. The, the pebble, as I like to call it. Pebbly poo. I forgot my other machine the handle came out, so I need to get one of those weird, it's not a screwdriver. It's like an Allen wrench, but it's different. Anyway, I need to get one. Okay. So here, we're gonna add this tree here and you have to put it on dimensionals, okay? Because you need the, you need it to be popped up so that it catches the, the card front. The other thing, this is a tip, when you make one of these cards, it probably isn't a bad idea to, look at that. Oh, isn't that cute? It's probably not a bad idea to write a little handwritten note to the recipient and post it note to the front. Because if you don't do that, um, they probably aren't gonna understand what to do with it. We card makers would know immediately, right? But the average, the civilian, <laughs> the civilian won't know what to do. So you'll have to help them out and give them a little instruction. I plan on putting a post-it note. If I don't send these cards to, to other card makers, I will put a post-it note on the front that says this card, tuck the, tuck the front flap of this card underneath the inside tree. There you go. That's how you word it. Okay, so here's this guy which we are going to use. I just love, look how cool is that? Oh, it's so cool. Okay, and then we're gonna have a pink tree on the front because I mean, honestly, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you have a pink tree on the front? You know what, let me grab my Stamparatus. If you don't already own a Stamparatus, what are you even doing with your life? You need some sort of stamp positioning tool in your life. Please, you will never regret it. Are they cheap? No. Are they effective and wonderful and amazing products? Yes. Totally worth the money. Perfect. Look, and if we want it to be a little darker which I kind of do. We'll just stamp it again. And it will stamp in the exact same perfect spot. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Let's die cut this bad boy out. Whoops, wrong die. Put it, I'm actually going to cut this off so it'll go through the machine, the little sh machine. 
Okay, all lined up here just perfectly. As perfectly as I'm gonna get it. It's handmade, not Hallmark. I've heard that saying lots of times and I really enjoy repeating it because that's the truth. I'm gonna run it through our pebble machine. I just like to call it the pebble. The big one is the rock, the little one is the pebble, just saying. Okay. Alrighty, so here I'm just gonna arrange these so that our white tree kind of just hides behind the front tree. Like so. And then we're gonna do dimensionals to add them to our card base. That is a little bit excessive on the dimensionals, but it's okay. It's totally fine. All right. There we go. There's that. Now, not done, because we have these gorgeous metallic uh, pearl things. <laughs> there you have a name. Um, from Stampin' Up! that are perfect for this card. Makes your tree look like it has little baubles on it, and it is so cute. Okay. Almost done. I really like to bobble it up, I'm just saying. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Okay, so that is the finished card. Now you can add any sentiment you wanna add. If you wanted to add sentiments to the front, if you wanted to add more decorations to each side, if you have followed me for any length of time, you know I am a clean and simple girl. I don't like a lot of fuss. Um, I like things to look pretty, pretty clean and simple. So for me, this is perfect. And as you can see, when you fold it forward, you really get the focal point of those trees. It's really beautiful. So I just love these cards. They're so fun to make. So there's your project. Okay, if you're here and you wanna hang out for a few minutes, I have a few minutes to answer questions and scroll through comments. So I'm going to do that right now. And if you're watching the replay and you don't wanna hear any of this chitter chatter, you are welcome to take your leave, go visit my website and um, print your project sheet. It's free over on my website, so you can just go over there and print it. All right, let's see. We've got some questions. All right. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Elaine. Tracy, Jean, Oma, Patricia, Izzy, Lady. Welcome. Lady said she's new to our lives. Lady J, welcome. Hi, Kathy. Wendy, do you know if the peaceful cabin is going to be in the cell? No, it's not, I don't think. Let me check. Let me check while I have the list up. I don't think it is. I think it's mostly stamp sets from the annual catalog.
Yeah, I don't think. Ooh, Shaded Summer is on sale. It's going to be on sale tomorrow. That's the stamp set that matches the dies I'm giving away. That's kind of a cool thing. Pampered Pets, Prize Peony, Celebrate Sunflowers, Positive Thoughts, so many things. Okay. Um, I did not have any nightmares. Deborah asked if I had nightmares. No, I did not. <laughs> Izzy said that after she watched Scream, she was scared to go to the bathroom by herself. Oh my gosh, I love it. Uh... The non-traditional colors are growing on Denise, she says. My handle came off from my emboss machine too. Fortunately, I found the screws. Yeah, I have everything. I just need... Um, yeah, lady, I don't talk to my... I don't talk to viewers on chat while I'm creating. It's too hard. I just do my creating and then... Um, at the end, I talk to everybody. It's too hard for me to look back and forth and I lose track of where I am. So I just wait till the end. Hello in the UK. We did not watch Scream 2. So um, she really wanted to watch Scream 2 and it was a rental, like we would have had to rent it. And we already rented the first Scream, so I told her no. But I think maybe like next week we'll rent the second one. And then maybe the week after that we'll do the third one or something. I don't know. We'll see. But it was funny that she, that she was so into it. I was really surprised. Joining from beautiful Florida. Welcome in Florida. Yeah, the stamp sets are from the annual catalog. Correct, Deborah. Hello in New Zealand. Hello. So nice to, for all of you to be here and chit-chatting. Um, so that wraps up our card for today. Don't forget, you can get this calendar from me for free. When you sign up for my emails, there's a link below the video to do that. If you, you go to the description box below the video and you scroll way down, it says, follow me on social media. And then there's a whole list of stuff you can follow there and get my emails is at the bottom of that list. So you can click that, sign up for my emails. You'll get a confirmation email. You got to confirm that. And then you get access to my calendars. Um, and then of course there is the choose a gift choose a gift giveaway which is $50 online order by October 27th and you get to choose one of these gifts for free make sure you use the host code I don't know if I've told you guys Stampin' Up! did this whole thing where they came out and said they're gonna make it to where we can't call and add the host code for you anymore so I think it was taking up too much time for them because I think a lot of demonstrators, including myself, were doing that. So make sure you add your own host code to your orders so that when the day comes that they don't let us add them anymore, we you're not stuck not getting your free gift, okay? All right, well, I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. These are such cute cards. I hope you make one if you do and you have social media, um, make sure that you take a picture of it, post it, and then tag me in it so that I know that you made one using the measurements or inspiration. Don't forget that free project sheet is over on my blog. It will be there in just a few minutes, and there'll be links below this video to take you to the blog post, to shop online, all the things. I'm gonna add those right now when we close off this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.